Yo guys, Theo here on Common Sense. By the way, can you spot the guy in the background there? There's a, well, they're not called deers. Is it hind? Well, a deer-like animal that might be called hind. He's laying there, he's watching me, what I'm doing if I'm gonna, you know, attack him and eat him for dinner and then fast. <laughs> yeah, that's what he's thinking. So yes, it's true. I will be doing a one week fast. And in this video, I'll talk about the when and the how and the why. So let's start with the why. Uh, the main reason I'm doing this fast is honestly just pure self-development, taking it further than I ever have before. And so up until this point, the longest fast I've ever done was five days. It was actually the first fast I ever did. I didn't even make YouTube videos back then. Uh, and then I've done a handful of 96 hour fast or one was uh, I called it the 100 hour fast and it was exactly 100 hours Important distinction there and the 72 hour and 48 hour fast. I've just done a whole bunch of So I just want to take it further than I ever had uh, than I ever had before I want to get a nice physical and mental reset Because I did that dry fast recently to be honest I was a little disappointed like I don't regret doing it or anything But the first time I did that it had such a huge effect on me like but both physically But also I have just had very very great mood after that and I didn't feel bad after it or anything But yeah, I didn't really get that effect and I'm hoping a one-week fast will uh, do the trick and so I'm also planning to do a bulk, like not right after the fast, but uh, not too long after the fast. And it's just kind of cool to uh, shrink down to, well, not, not uh, I don't expect to shrink down to nothing, but shrink down for a bit before you put more on. It's actually a mistake a lot of guys do, that they already have a little bit more fat than they'd like to, and they go on a bulk. And hopefully they gain some muscle, but also a lot of unnecessary fat along with that. So it's just a nice place to start putting your, like putting yourself in a good position to grow in a nice way and so also that's been a um, big topic on the channel recently uh, do you lose muscle fasting and I of course my view is that unless you start out like ridiculously lean and don't have any body fat to eat from during the fast you don't really lose significant muscle on the fast and I don't really expect to lose much muscle on this fast but probably something uh, but we'll see I'll make sure to take good pictures so you can make a nice comparison there uh, also a good point about again relating back to the bulk I, I'll be doing one guy on my video called Greg Doucette is wrong about fasting sorry guy I don't remember your name but you know who you are he, he said that even if you lose muscle uh, on the fast you'd easily gain it back because muscle you've once acquired is much easier to rebuild than to build it from scratch and that's very true like um, people call it muscle memory which I think is a little confusing but because that can also relate to like say that you haven't rode your bike in years and then you do it and you just know how to do it because of muscle memory but you also call that like the body remembering what muscle you carry so even if you lose a little bit of muscle on a longer fast like this you'll easily build it back and so another reason um, like a cool thing, uh, Vigorous Steve that I mentioned in another video too, um, I heard him talking to Leo and Longevity, or like the channel is called, he's called Leo, or Leo and Longevity, and he talked about, actually talked about going into the fast in an overtrained state, something I have avoided because I've felt like that's when I've not felt that great on the fast always, and like the body wants protein to repair the damaged muscle tissue, but he talked about, okay, so these guys are much more knowledgeable about the body uh, than I am I'm a very practical guy but basically as I understood it the point was that if you go into the fast in an overtrade uh, state you have these waste products in your body like um, broken down muscle tissue basically but instead of excreting it via autophagy you recycle that protein for your muscle uh, so he talked about going into the fast in an overtrained state how that would be more muscle sparing and I'm not sure about that and uh, to be fair to um, Steve he didn't state it as it's uh, absolutely true it was like a theory he had but so I will for this fast I won't uh, I have a lot of time I've deloaded into the lot like uh, when you train not as hard for a while um, I've just done that for two three workouts before the fast just so I'm not sore in it this time I think I won't like try to be like over training into the fast but I won't I will skip the deload part as well but he also mentioned how 
he thinks doing a proper deload, how a fast speeds up that. And I don't remember his reasoning for that, but I actually need you to be honest, when I think about it, you know, I've I'm for the almost three years that I've been training now, I've been on like the brink of overtraining, if not overtraining all the time and I've really never done a proper deload like it has kind of happened naturally when I've done many many fasts uh, close close to each other because I can't train too much but I've never without fasting I've never really just uh, you know uh, taken a week off training or something and so on this I see this fast as kind of a deload I will do uh, weight training on the fast though because again me and people like uh, Vigorous Steve and Leo from Leo and Longevity um, this is again something we don't really have proof for but you know the body is um, reacts to signals uh, you get it like and makes decisions on how to use its resource and what to prioritize and i just think uh, training lifting some weights on the fast sends a signal to the body to preserve muscle even more like apparently we need this muscle mass if possible take the energy from another source so i will be doing like um, uh, like out of boredom I might uh, train almost every day on this fast but i will be doing you know one set training not taking it to failure so a workout could look something like one set of squats, one set of Romanian deadlifts, one set uh, of rows with a barbell, one set of pull-ups, one set of incline bench press, one set of dumbbell presses, one set of lateral raises, one set of some biceps exercise, one set of some triceps exercise, a set of calf raises, something like this, you know. But keeping like, not, not, not doing it like a ridiculously light level, but let's say 80% effort, weight or effort, you know. Uh, yeah, what next? Well, I think that that's all the whys. I guess one why is just because I know people think it's interesting to follow me on this. And I will, uh, of course, um, like I maybe not every day during the fast, but I will, of course, update you with videos throughout the fast. And I'll be honest about how I'm feeling and doing it. Won't like. I, uh, I love fasting, I think it's great, but I have no interest in pretending it's better than it is or something. So if I wouldn't feel too good or if it has also some, you know, negative effect, I'll tell you that as well. And so we talk about the how. It's going to be on the, on the 15th, uh, June 15th, uh, a Tuesday. In the evening somewhere there, I'll have my last meal and then I'll go to Wednesday next week because I want it uh, to be, you know, over a week like I, I'm not I used to say that don't obsess over the hours if you go like oh 69 hours or 73 hours when you said 72 hour fast but in this case I just want to say that I've done a full week of fasting and so for the last week leading up to the fast I will eat low carb just so I can go into ketosis uh, faster on the fast it's just a common trick you know I know I mentioned it a bunch of times make you probably feel better uh, I mean yeah, you, you will feel better. You probably have less struggles with hunger early in the fast if you are already uh, in ketosis or close to into ketosis as you start it. Uh, I'll need to take a break here and think, is there anything more? Oh yeah, this I can mention. Like sometimes doing a longer fast, like a project like this, I try to put on some weight before, but I'm not going to do that this time. I don't know if you can tell with the lightning my level of leanness right now, but I'm obviously kind of lean, but I'm not like shredded. I think I have enough to be doing all right on the fast but I want it to be a challenge so I'm not going to try and put on weight I obviously won't hold back on food now for the two weeks that, that's left uh, up uh, until the fast but I want it to be challenging so I'm not cheating by putting food in the fridge as I call it to be honest I think the most challenging part about this fast will be boredom eventually you know because yeah like uh, longer into a fast you can get low energy it's kind of like you you can do things uh, you have the strength for it like if you go to the gym you haven't lost that much strength but your body tries to preserve energy and so you become kind of lazy and honestly you know food is I, I wouldn't say that it's fun eating you know but it's kind of stimulating it's something you know you look for oh now it's time to eat and just removing that for a whole week it will be boring and I think that would be the biggest issue but if, anyways that's that's how it's going to have to be and uh, yeah and so what I will I consume on the fast well the salts as usual the snake juice um, I used to use this uh, Swedish mineral salt called Seltin but I ordered new I have new potassium chloride powder I use one teaspoon of that and one teaspoon of just some sea salt in two liters of snake juice we're consuming that and I know I get 
obviously if compared to Cole a lot of the snake diet because you know he was the one that really taught me about fasting we don't have the exact same philosophy though like I don't mind um, Hmm, like using some supplements or things on the fast. So I might take my boron supplement um, during the fast. Well, I guess specifically boron, he has done that with a borax thing. Um, but I might use a um, nootropic that I use. Uh, I use the one from Mind Lab Pro. I think it's pretty good. I'm not sponsored or anything. Um, I asked them if I can get a code, so we'll see. You know, it's a small channel, but why not ask? But uh, it's just a nootropic, if you don't know. It's kind of just like a cognitive enhance enhancer. So that, that could be good on the fast if I need to be productive and focus. And I'm losing some energy. I will probably be drinking some black coffee for basically the same reason also it can just make it a little more fun not just drinking water all the time i won't be drinking any diet soda it's something when i talk about this on this channel i re generally don't recommend doing that on a fast because we want to rid ourselves of food addiction addiction to tastes right so even though it's low calorie and will technically break the fast probably you know it can um, yeah, the food addiction part uh, you still won't get as big of an effect on. But I, I, I'm not completely against it. Like sometimes if I do 48 or 72 hour fast, I will have it sometimes. I don't, yeah, I think you should never use it as a crutch. Like you just uh, drink liters of this every day to even manage the fast. Then, then it's not a good idea. But I've done it like a social thing, you know. I'm fasting, spending time with some people and, ju you know, just to not be completely boring. It's just nice to have, you know, Fanta Raspberry without sugar is my favorite we have here in Sweden um, yeah but so on this fast uh, none of that none of that um, yeah I think that's all I'm gonna have to think a little bit again no I think I covered everything like if you know me you know I'll be using the Sun and doing some cold showers during the fast I'll be out in nature in the Sun and I have some other activities that will happen that I'll report to you guys as it goes on um, like not much planned, but uh, I won't just sit at home fasting is what I'm saying. I will meet people and do stuff and I'll just tell you what I do and how I feel doing it. So yeah, that's everything for now about my one week fast. Please let me know in the comments. Are you excited about this? You have any ideas? Anything I should do? Anything I should try? Uh, do you have any questions? If I did miss something, you know, um, yeah, please let me know in the comments. Please like the video to support the channel. Uh, helps the algorithm, helps more people find the channel. And please subscribe to follow me on this one week fast and other content about health, fitness, <laughs> fasting, building muscle, self-improvement, all that kind of cool shit. Okay, guys. And by the way, message me if you want coaching. I can help you lose the weight, build the muscle, improve your life. So, yeah. That I should uh, remember to mention in my videos too, because I am up and running with clients and it's going well. So please let me know. Okay guys, I'll see you, peace.